Today, I'm gonna enter the Rock Drake Trench area, and we're gonna get ourselves some Rock Drake eggs. I don't know if we're gonna get any good ones, but hopefully. I do know this area is quite big, so hopefully there's a good amount of eggs in here for me to grab. And obviously, I haven't been in here so far in this series, so all the eggs should be like fresh spawns and stuff as well. I would assume, unless I somehow managed to load in the area somehow, I don't even know. So as you can see, we're pulling out some Thylas because I'm going to be using these dudes to help me in there because, you know, the Andrusarchus is great and all, and we have the bullets and we can shoot around and kill all the rock drakes that way, but having some extra muscle is definitely a good idea. So we're going to go ahead and pop on some mushroom brew onto them and that's basically going to protect them from the, uh, the elements in there, the radiation. Uh, let's see. Let me get all these guys popped up with this. So I think that last... How long does it last again? I guess I can hop onto one of them. I think it lasts like 10 minutes, maybe? Um, that did work. Oh, that does not last very much time at all. Wow, okay. It's been a long time since I used that. Okay, I, I guess we're not going to bother with that then. <laughs> that that kind of sucks. I mean, you know what? I might as well like put them away because by the time I'm in there, it's probably going to be gone. So... Yeah, that was kind of pointless. Wow, okay, I thought I was being a smart boy, but I guess not. Uh, I should probably test these things out a little bit. But anyway, yeah, uh, so obviously the Rock Drake area is over here on Asgard. I will show you the location right here. Obviously, the map doesn't really help at all, but there's the coordinates. It's in the, um, I think this is like the northern purple forest area. And uh, yeah, here we go. Let's go Gamma 3 and head on in. So, guys, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. We'll see if we can get some good eggs out of this one. I, I mean, like, it's it could be kind of iffy to go in here at this point. You know, we have a really good saddle on this dude, and we do a lot of damage. And obviously, the thylos are going to help out as well. But at the same time, it's still a little bit uh, scary in here. I'm curious, if, is my Fjordhawk okay? I mean, he's taking the one damage. I think that's him at least. I don't know, because the other one is off of me. Yeah, I think he's taking the little one damage. I don't know whether or not I should... Where are you? What? What are you doing? Okay, well, I guess maybe should I just put him away? Where the hell is, even is he? Uh, I mean, he's taking a little bit of damage. We should probably be okay. And at this point, I should probably chuck out my Thylas because I can already see the Rock Drakes. Um, all right, so anyway, let's get this all done. Get all these dudes out. I mean, they're not really taking much damage from the radiation, I would assume, right? Like, they take a little bit. It, I mean, all of these things are, are kind of disposable anyway. Like, I'm okay if they die. It, it would be absolutely fine. It would be kind of great if they died towards the end, so at least I'd have them for, you know, most of these rock drakes to deal with them. But, yeah, we'll, we'll see. All right, so here we are. Look at this place. Oh, man, there's so many. Oh, there's a lot of them in here. There's an egg already. So, yeah, the eggs are kind of scattered along the walls a little bit. I'm not sure if you can grapple in here, actually. I'm not sure at all. All right, well, let's... uh. Well, I didn't mean to hit that button. Let's just start killing them, I guess. Uh, I mean, I could grab an egg, but it's probably best to just start uh you know mowing them down a little bit okay come on kill there you go all right nice yeah the the thylas are totally going to be able to help us out here honestly i feel like a good idea would be to actually just grab that egg yeah let's do that and let's just get swarmed because these thylas are probably dying of radiation right now i would assume at least i mean i assume our thylas take radiation damage right like i don't think that they wouldn't right i, I don't know all right there we go that was level 24 egg i think and here we go let's go on aggressive kill <laughs> All right. I don't know. Should I just start shooting? Probably. Let's just start mowing them down. Oh, man. Yeah, this is a bit much. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, two, two, two. Wow, okay. I want an egg from that one. Okay, any other high levels? I think I saw like a 204 or something as well there. Uh, okay, yeah. We gotta start biting now because they're way too close to me. Come on. All right, they're not really doing much damage to my guy at all. 28 damage. It does add up over time, but yeah. 210. Very nice. Okay, let's get you all on neutral and follow because i put them onto aggressive that was a level 24 egg right the egg did spoil no i didn't load in this area i haven't been down here how the hell did it spoil that's bull no that means potentially every egg down here got loaded in somehow i don't even understand how that would be possible i legitimately have not been down here I guess we're gonna have to check. I mean, I'm probably gonna have to go ahead and, and pull you at least. Oh my god, this freaking saddle does amazing damage, by the way. It's funny how it does exactly 100, though. I wonder, is that like a cap, maybe? I don't know. Hmm, that would be interesting to know. All right, let's uh, hop up here then. Yeah, that one's gonna spoil as well. Look at that. They all have a zero on their spoil timer. So somehow, within 
I guess not within the last seven days, but at some point I loaded them in and it's been seven days since then and they're all at zero. That sucks. If I had known, I would have done an egg wipe, but yeah, I, I didn't know. That really, really sucks. They're probably all at zero. Potentially, I don't know. Like, I, I did the video. Um, Oh, that was a 228. Are you kidding? No, there better be an egg from that one. There better be an egg. That sucks. Oh, man. Okay, we have to at least check out these eggs. I mean, ugh. like, I, we're going to have to grab them all. <laughs> we're going to have to check every single one of them just in case we have a 228 that hasn't spoiled somehow. But yeah, I, I did a video for for my other channel where I just kind of did like a short little... Okay, that one's not spoiled. <gasps> I just did like a short little, um you know, kind of like a guide video. I did a bunch of them, but uh, I did one where I came here, but I didn't do it on the server. I did it in single player, so I don't really understand how this managed to happen. Clearly, when I was like up in Asgard, somehow it uh, it just kind of loaded in. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. All right, we just got to turn and get up there. How the hell are you guys stuck? What are you even stuck on? All right, there we go. And 210, spoiled. That really hurts. Ah, oh, that's painful. That's so painful. No, <laughs> this one's almost spoiled. I'm just going to eat it. You know, actually, I'm going to hold on to it because I can use it to draw the aggro of the other ones. What are you guys stuck on? Also, I have a level. Nice. Okay. Level 99. What was I even pumping? It's been so long. Health, maybe? I don't really even know. All right. Let me just break these little bulb thingies because they're uh, clearly blocking my guys, I think. Hopefully. I mean, you're not stuck inside that nest. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. All right. So any more eggs around here? I think we got all those nests, right? Oh, that really sucks. A 210. I could have had that. I don't understand, man. Like, ah. Uh, that's that that really sucks i hate that i hate that so much ah, all right yeah totally would have done an egg wipe command like i don't mind doing that on my servers because like i haven't been here before so would have made sense but i just didn't know that that would be the case all right let me just uh let me do this this will draw the aggro of all of the rock drakes if i can there we go nice i'll just get them all over here we'll kill them all we're gonna have to leave this area now and then come back at some point and do a fresh sweep of this whole place so i don't even know that really sucks i hate that so much <sighs> okay come on that was a 210 come on kill this one here we go almost almost and a 204 there are super high levels in here today come on please that's a 120 and it's not spoiled of course of course guys like of course that would not be spoiled at all <laughs> of course <laughs> ah that sucks Okay, yeah, don't get stuck in those things anymore. All right, uh, let's grab this spoiled egg. It's definitely gonna be spoiled just like the rest of them. What are you even doing? What is with this map and like creatures being in the ground recently? <laughs> like what is happening here? He's not just in the ground, but he's sideways of the ground. This is a high level, I think. Uh, let me just, pew, pew, that's not even doing anything. What the hell? Oh, it's a 216. Okay, please, please be your egg from today, maybe. Come on, we had that 120. Uh, lay an egg for me it's a one or it's a 210 sorry 210 and it's not spoiled that's amazing okay i'm gonna eat the level 24 i'm gonna eat the the 120 and we'll hang on to the 210 nice okay well we actually did get something good i'm happy with that but like yeah i mean that kind of replaces the 210 that we that we lost earlier well it's spoiled on me or whatever are you guys gonna come like what are you doing are you guys stuck what's happening what uh go over there there you go okay what was happening there what were you guys even planning all right let me just uh, get off of me <laughs> all right there we go nice okay oh my god these little bulb things are so annoying okay uh did we grab them all i mean let's keep going around i don't really know is there like any in the middle there i can see a rock drake right there god i i do have to say that this place is beautiful down here okay we got another egg that is totally spoiled what level that's a 228 and it's not spoiled but it's halfway spoiled yes <laughs> oh we're in the money now look at that oh my god i got a freaking 228 nice okay okay oh hello beautiful <laughs> look at you mean and green all right let's get rid of you real quick but yeah this this trench area is really beautiful um it's funny because i haven't actually been down here uh you know in survival because when i was oh what's happened why did i just get the radiation symbol did I not already? Oh yeah, okay, no. I was 
I was technically irradiated, but I think it goes away when I'm inside the saddle. Yeah, that kind of freaked me out when it just popped up because it just caught my eye. Um, but yeah, I haven't actually been down here because on the uh, the modded version, they were in a different spot. Um, in the spot in the giant dwarven mine area, uh, right beside the secret aberration cavey spot, if anybody knows that spot. But uh, yeah, they were they were in there. <laughs> and actually, I think I even got a, a, a yeah, I got a 228 when I was in there before as well, right? I think I did. I'm pretty sure that I got a 228 in that trench as well. So yeah, clearly this map and rock drake eggs, they go well together. Um, did we miss any though? Because like there's quite a few spots, but they're all around the wall. Like there might be some in the middle here. I'm just going to leave you guys there just so I can run through all this crap. Um, we got this one, right? Oh, no, there's one. Okay. So yeah, we got kind of some in the middle here as well. They're sort of like all over the place, honestly. Uh, 120. Okay. And it's new as well. Wait, what was that? Um, yeah, the 210. Okay, yeah. The 210 and the 120 are new. And then the 228's been here for three days. Like, I have no idea. Did Like, was I around here, like, flying around on the surface four days ago in-game? I guess we've been here in recent videos, and I do turn off the server when I'm not on sometimes, but then sometimes I forget. So I don't really know. I must have been around the last time that we were over here, probably for Thylas. Maybe? I don't really, I don't really know. Um, our, oh, we got another egg right here. Was this here earlier? I don't think it was. So that means that this one's probably new, or else I'm blind. Uh, it is new and it's bad. Okay. Very, very overburdened. You know what? Out of curiosity, let me just make sure I eat the correct one. <laughs> Out of curiosity, I want to see if you can grapple in here because I did bring my climbing picks just in case. Uh, oh, I already got my crossbow. Can you grapple? You can. I would have thought they would have disabled that. Honestly, I really would have thought they, they would have done that. I'm assuming that you can't use flyers down here because this is technically a cave as well, right? Yeah, that's kind of crazy. These plants look insane looking. All right, well, I think we got everything. Um, two high-level eggs. That's great. I mean, more than I thought that we would get. I, I honestly kind of was just hoping for something half-decent, but there we go. Um, <laughs> I mean, we, we could see all the levels of all the ones I was killing. That's new as well. Should I be checking all these nests again? Like, it just immediately repopulated them all which is great. I love that. Come on, be a high level. 216? What? Okay. <laughs> so wait, I got a 210, 216, and a 228. I'm just missing a 222 in the middle there. So obviously my max level is 180. Those are the levels that they pop out as on um, on this server. Same with Wyverns and stuff. So 228 is the max level. Um, Whereas on official, it's, uh, it's 190 because it's it's basically eight level intervals past normal max level. And uh, that's kind of how that goes. So, yeah, that's amazing. I am very happy. I thought that was something jumping up. Dude, I keep getting jump scared on like the sides of the screen by by creatures and not even creatures, actually. Sometimes just nothingness. But there's always something there, if you know what I mean. It's just not what I think it is, I guess. Um, all right, let's grab out all this crap. I guess, actually, I could just teleport home. It makes a little bit more sense. Or I could kill myself. Yeah, that sounds really dark. I, I'm getting so used to just, like, murderizing myself that I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to go kill my... <laughs> that sounds awful. All right, let's, uh, let's do it then. Let me go ahead and just... Uh, wait, why am I throwing you down? That's not a good idea. Did I grab everything off of you? I think I did, right? Yeah, we're good. Okay, so I'm just going to fly up um, on the bat, probably. I was going to use the May Wing, but the, the bat's probably a better idea. And actually, I've just realized there's no way I'm going to be able to carry out all this stuff on the bat, right? Oh, I can't. I might actually be able to. Where, where are you? There you are. Okay, good. Uh, let me just do this real quick. He's a little slow, but we're good. So I'm just going to fly really high up and then just put him away and fall to my death. Got him. Okay, here we go. And we are falling. How much did my radiation suit go down by? Not a whole lot, actually. Wow. I guess you usually just spend a lot more time in the um, in the the cave in aberration, like the radiation area, because you have to like walk down and stuff. Um. Oh no, we are going here. That's not where I live anymore. What am I doing? By the way, I actually added some canoes. Oh, I gotta show you some updates to the base. Actually, um, making a couple little changes, which are really frustrating. But you know, we'll we'll go over it real quick. Um. I guess also inside of the saddle, I wasn't taking radiation damage as well. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, cool. There we go. We got our stuff a lot less annoying to get than in my old base. Wow. You're really hurt. You took a lot of radiation damage in that cave. Maybe I should have given you a little mushroom soup thingy. 
All right, let me just chuck away some of this stuff, and then um, I'll just go over some of the changes. Also, I brought way too many bullets. I did not even need half of those. Okay, so on to the changes. We built this lovely thing right here, and I, I think it's great, and I absolutely love it. Um, and I want to keep it, but I can't keep it there. I got to rebuild it. Yeah, we're removing it. Ugh, I'm so annoyed that I have to do this because it's such a pain. Like, that is... There's a lot of, like, precise kind of building things done here, and I'm going to have to keep this whole thing there until I've got all three of them built because I'm building one here with the bridge. Um, I've actually removed just this front part of the bridge just so I can manage to get this thing built because sometimes the little platforms actually kind of intersect and, and kind of get in the way just a little bit. So we can replace them afterwards. What am I doing? Um, but yeah... <laughs> I basically had to remove some of it. I did also extend out the bridge as well. So, yeah, as you can see, um, it's going to kind of come along and, and go right through the middle here. And that's going to be the entrance way to the base instead of having it randomly up here. It's a nice change because it will mean that I'm going to have some more space to build up here, especially in this spot specifically. Because you can kind of see like this area right here where that kind of is on the side of. This is a good spot to put like a central building and that's probably what I'm going to go ahead and do. So yeah, we actually had the bridge over there, I think in the last episode. So I've since moved that to here and built it all the way out um, so I can run creatures back and forth if I need to. And let's see. So we've also got another one of these buildings that's going to get built over here as well. Um, same kind of situation here. I think, yeah, I also moved the bridge. I think it was slightly further over here, around here maybe. So yeah, I, I'm basically moving it. I'm going to bring it all the way over from this spot. And we're going to have another one of those buildings. And then, can you guess what the last thing is? It's it's over here. And uh, of course, um, it's going to be going along from this bridge. And actually, I'm kind of thinking I might move the bridge slightly. Because I have it intersecting and then ramping up to, to this spot over here. And I feel like a better landing spot would be... You can't really see it. I'm trying... I, I'm like gamma... No, I'm not even gammed up. It's just like super bright. I guess we could just fly on over. So yeah, a better spot would be like the little beach over there instead of having what I, I did here because it, it doesn't look very good, I don't think. I, I think it looks a little bit messy and you'll see. Um, so obviously I needed to go up. So yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. It looks very, very messy. Um, it doesn't look the worst, but I just kind of feel like intersecting with actual land would be better because like this is a much better spot over here we have to go a little bit further we have to move what we've already built of course which is gonna really suck because those platforms take ages to pick up so yeah i just feel like here is a better spot anyway yeah <laughs> why do i do this stuff to myself i built something so cool and then i'm like yeah we should tear this down and build three more <laughs> like What's wrong with me? All right. Well, anyway, instead of immediately going to hatch those eggs, I think we're going to go over and quickly hit up the Aberration Cave to grab some rock... Not rock drake venom. Uh, nameless venom. There we go. So, yeah. We've got a couple nodes of them over here. Where about is it? Oh, yeah. It's like right across from that island over there in the side of the cliff. I think we're getting close. So, yeah. Um, we've got nameless venom nodes in here, if you didn't know. Uh, quick coordinates. I'm not going to pull out the map. We're at 56.6, uh, 84.6. And, of course, we've been in here tons of times. And I've just realized that is probably a better creature to use in here. There we go. Nice. And let's see. So, yeah, nameless venom nodes. I think there's, like, two or three of them. But, honestly, just hitting up one of them should be enough. I've actually been in here today as well. So, I wonder if the drops are back. They might be. They very well might be. Hello, Rock Drake. Okay. Just get right through all these dudes. Hopefully they don't aggro. Why is there so many Spinos right now? There was not that many earlier. I don't know where they all came from. Okay, great. I guess we're going to have to start killing them then. <laughs> I can Spinos? Like, what is what's happening? Some sort of weird meeting. Although, actually, this is a good, good way of freaking, like, stocking up on the little si Spino sales. I'm really struggling with words here today. Um, But yeah, great. Honestly, we got three of them there. That's perfect. There we go. Nice. That was 180 Carno. Love it. All right. Let's, uh, let's kill this dude as well. Oh, there's more of them. I guess I could just drop them down here. I didn't even need to kill them. There we go. Boom. Enjoy. And ooh, don't spit on me. Okay. You missed. Lovely. Thank you very much. Are you a 180 crab? Uh, no, you are not. <laughs> Every single time I come in here now, it's just painful to think because I had to go off and tame a different crab. Oh, speaking of spinos, that's why they were all here. They all wanted to be tamed and saddled. Okay. Makes sense sort of uh, let's grab that and that's a lot of spoiled meat all right let's keep going here 
You're not gonna aggro, are you? No, we're good, okay. Let's see, so yeah, I think there's, yeah, yeah, this is one of the nodes right here, but I think I might need to kill potential Ravagers up ahead. I don't actually see any, I think we're good. All right, cool. Uh, let me just, I'm gonna just drop everything. So yeah, this is what they look like. They're kind of like, they almost kind of look, that's not my normal pick. They almost kind of look like, um, like the oil veins, I suppose, except they're orange. They almost kind of look like giant pieces of flint at the same time. So yeah, of course, these do give the uh, Rock Drake Venom, Rock Drake Venom, Nameless Venom. What's better though? Is it a pick or a hatchet? It could actually be a hatchet because I didn't get that much from a pick. Oh yeah, hatchet's way better. Okay, let's see. Oh, is that another one? Oh nice, there actually is another one. Sweet. So I have no idea why there's Nameless Venom in here. It's just, you know, there's no nameless on this map, so I guess there there needed to be a way to actually have it to to use it. It doesn't get extra time in here. Oh, it does. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and just chuck all that crap into there. All of it. Oh my god, I got a lot. Wow, okay. So yeah, this stuff is obviously used to uh, imprint rock drakes and, and feed them as well. It's kind of like their version of the wyvern milk, but you can also force feed it to rock drakes, and it's going to heal them by a bunch, so very, very handy. Hmm. I don't really want to... Do I have something better? I guess I could just chuck out a Thyla and see if it could just kill them for me. It could happen. My mouse is like waking out because like I went directly here and it went like up. Yeah. I use a, a wired mouse so sometimes the wire gets kind of annoying but I, I don't really want to use a uh, another one like a what are they called the wireless ones. I've, I've had them in the past and I've had good ones as well but I just find that they're kind of unreliable and and they kind of go out of sync a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I just need a better one. I did not mean to hit that button. I meant to hit this one. Okay, go ahead and kill them then. There you go. Lovely. Just murderized them all. I didn't want to be filled up with, um, with, like, meat and stuff to have to drop. Come on, there you go. But yeah, I have a Razer Naga Pro. I just have that on my desk here. I guess I could use that as well. I mean, it's okay. I, just, I much prefer just using my one. Oh, that's a really good saddle blueprint. Nice. Okay. Go ahead and pick you up. But yeah, my, my usual go-to mouse is a, let's see... Red Dragon Legend. I don't know. I've been using these for like years. It's got the buttons on the side. So does the Razor as well, though, to be fair. But um, I don't know. It's got like a triple click button. That's how I'm able to level so fast all the time. It's really great. Not even sponsored. Honestly, I'd love to reach out to them and be like, hey, like, give me a Syntax Color one or something. I'll sell the crap out of that. <laughs> like, I've been using this stuff for years and it's like much cheaper than other mice as well. So it's kind of weird having to explain to people why I use this over, you know, this amazing mouse and it costs seven billion and you know like all the youtubers have them i don't know i just i like using this one it's weird so anyway about the base build what i'll probably end up doing is um maybe finishing up the first gate over here and then probably just double checking that it's all correct and then removing the one that we have already built because i think i need to start actually building the middle part of the actual base you know getting the the whole thing situated and everything because i need a breeding area i need like a, an actual workshop that's not just like an ocean platform with a bunch of stuff chucked onto it you know i i need to need to get going with the actual parts of the base and not the exterior so yeah um we'll get to all of that eventually but i i think i need to finish this one off and i've been working on this a good bit honestly it's such a pain to do this stuff without the tax suit um i really miss the tax suit usually i end up waiting till i have one until i build like a, a proper final base Except on the Lost Island where I was just able to use the Sinnoh. Honestly, Sinnohs, like, they're very, very good. They're amazing for building. It just makes it so much easier. You know, riding on a creature, like, I used the Desmodus a little bit. He's pretty good. Like, riding on a creature is okay, but it's just, um, it's not as reliable, you know, as just using a weird little backpack creature. Uh, let's go ahead and chuck all that crap into there. Very good. Uh, do we already, yeah, we already actually had an, an RG saddle blueprint. And I, heard, I had a shotgun with one as well, didn't I? Where is that? Yeah, I have a much better one. I even have a better Mastercraft one as well. Actually, this one's better than all of them as well. Interesting. I must have gotten that after this. All right. Well, anyway, uh, let's get cracking on these eggs then. So we've got three high levels to hatch up. Here we go. All right. Actually, I don't have air cons out yet because I haven't actually hatched anything over here. There we go. So it's gonna it's not going to take me as many air cons because S plus, but normally you'd need like 7 billion. It costs a lot uh still too hot okay need a couple more air cons then okay they are incubating very good okay just realized it's gonna you know it's gonna pick them up it's fine we don't actually have to claim them but yeah it's gonna automatically pick them up for us but look at that like so many high level eggs look it's so amazing i i love this you know as soon as you 
you start going for some rock fakes just getting a freaking max level and two other super high levels as well all right let's see let's pull them all out i think we got a green one or maybe that's just the feathers i don't know all right so the 216 um actually i just realized we gotta kind of pr pay proper attention to these stats because they are normally gonna just be lower than the numbers i'm used to getting so 42 points on to health on that one that seems pretty good actually nice we've got a high stamina as well 44 points that's definitely a high stat for this type of level as well and that's on the max level okay and then we've got i think 38 onto the melee and actually who has the high weight we also got 38 on the max level over here okay cool so those are the stats that i care about on rock drakes you know obviously um oxygen's kind of handy and food's kind of handy but you know i don't really care about them too much and these guys are technically classed as you know flyers in terms of the fact that they don't have any uh what is it called the movement speed or whatever oh look at that we actually did it <laughs> yeah we got a green one we got another greenish one i can't even tell exactly what kind of color you guys are let's see oh, i didn't mean to hit that but i keep hitting the wrong one yeah they're kind of like greenish sort of <laughs> I mean, this one's like, what is that, like a teal? Let's see. Sorry, I switched over to my other mouse for the moment just because the other one keeps wigging out. I guess that one's actually a cyan because I think region four is the, the main color that we're seeing there. Okay, cool. So we got a cyan 228. Love that. All right, sweet. So let's go ahead and just quickly grab over a couple of these. Let's put like two of them into each of them. And let's get these babies raised up. So I think what I'll probably do is, I mean, like you can breed rock drakes now. It would not make a lot of sense to raise them all up and then not combine them all to get all the best stats. So I think that's what we'll probably go ahead and do. So this is going to take a little bit, obviously. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy with these freaking levels, though. I mean, we already got a really good drake straight off the bat. That's great. I love that. All right. Well, anyway, um, I'll probably also try and keep some cool colors because this one's very bland looking. Anyway, yes, I will catch you in a little bit. All right, so they are fully grown up now, and I'm just realizing that it's the 228 and the 216 that have all the high stats between them, and neither of them can breed with each other, <laughs> which means I'm going to have to breed uh, basically either the 228 with... I guess I could breed both females with this 210 at the same time and just see which one I get in a male version with all of their stats. So I need basically a clone of this female, but it's a male. So that's going to be a bit of a pain. All right, great. So, <laughs> oh man, this really sucks. Well, at least I have like a good, you know, active kind of, uh, I guess, egg farm for the top tier of kibble if I need it. I might actually hang on to a good amount of these eggs though, to be honest. All right, so the rock drake is all grown up with all the best stats and that cyan color, which I actually really like. It looks good. But the only issue is the, I think it's the zero region on all three rock drakes had that really not great color right there. So... Yeah, I guess maybe mutations are in order at some point. So I think what we're going to do is maybe just try and go over here to the volcanic island. I've just realized I meant to grab a little bit of nameless venom. So let me go back and grab that real quick. All right, here we go. So yeah, I want to go over here and just start killing some creatures to get my dude all leveled up. Let's do that little jump right there. Very nice. Um, we got an aloe already. Hello, buddy. Okay. I'm almost kind of curious if we should maybe poke the, the nest here. You know? <laughs> Maybe try and get a couple wyverns to come out and fight them or something. I don't know. Maybe I should probably try to get some levels on this thing first. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, there was um, quite a few alphas around here before. So if we can come across some of those, that would be great. Let's not end up touching that lava somehow because that stuff does a lot of damage. And I don't want to lose my brand new drake. Okay, never mind. Oh, you're going to run into the lava? Yes, I got the kill anyway. Nice. Okay, let's see. Um, I think we're just going to... Do a little jump over here and we'll just try to maybe try and find that alpha rex if it's still around it might be although to be honest it's been a long time since then so it's probably not okay come on stegos come on we got cantros as well here we go all right so yeah oh there's a gig over there nice no alpha rex though unfortunate so yeah maybe we'll just try and like go along this coastline here honestly actually killing some basilisks as well could be a good idea although i don't have a gas mask on me yeah that might be an issue uh this thing's getting kind of bloody come on there we go there we go finally wow stegos freaking they're they're kind of crazy all right let's grab that i did disable harvesting just so i'm not picking up a bunch of meat and stuff i think ooh, we have a dodic attacking nice and you're probably gonna ball up pretty soon aren't you I don't know if I'm going to commit to trying to fully kill you. There we go. All right, yeah. 
So in terms of what I want to pump, I mean, pumping this up a good bit. Let's get it up to like 12-ish K for the moment. Um, I think I do want to pump some into stamina, but we'll probably just pump the points into melee for the moment just so we can get those. Uh, oh, hello. Okay. Are you aggroed on me? Oh, you actually are. Oh, crap. Okay. How the hell did you aggro on me? What the? Oh, wait, no. Maybe you didn't. Ooh, we're kind of get. Okay. I'm just like completely stuck here. <laughs> God damn it. All right, I gotta check the level on that dude actually as well. Uh, I think I saw a Rex over there as well. Yeah, there's a Rex and the Giga just hanging out together. All right, come on. So yeah, we'll probably just pump a couple levels into the melee for the moment. And uh, once we have some extra points into that, we should be killing things a lot quicker and leveling quicker in general. Oh, are you impaling that Anki? That is so cruel. The two of you are fighting me and you're fighting him as well. What the hell's wrong with you? There we go. Okay. Um, I'm just thinking, is there any runes around here? Oh, can I go up on these vents? Does that work? Oh, wait, is the rock drake too heavy? It might be. Yeah, we might be too heavy for these vent thingies. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Let me see. Um, we got some rexes over here. Attack rex. Nice. Let's see. What level are you? Uh, that's a 201. Okay, I'm going to leave that thing. I might tame that at some point. Um, so yeah, the intervals after... Uh, after that, I think there's, that's technically a 168, I believe, I believe, you know, cause it's got the 20% extra thingy. It's kind of confusing to try and explain it, but yeah, it's uh, essentially a 168 that's a tech creature. So it's going to be higher level, 20% extra. I think maybe, I don't know. I know the max level for my tech ones is 216. And I think the one before that is like around 210 or something. So yeah, it's probably like a 168. I don't know. I didn't do any maths in my head, so. Uh, there's so many things around here that are taking absolutely ages to kill. This rock trick sucks. <laughs> no, it, it's okay. We could definitely use some more damage on it, though. That was a 180 trike. <laughs> wow. What the hell's wrong with me? I killed a 180 Carno earlier. Killed a 180 trike now. What else have I killed uh, that I just haven't even noticed? I guess I also killed some max level rock drakes, but that doesn't really matter because we did get the egg in the end. But yeah, uh, we are out of stamina. All right, let's pump this up a little bit. So yeah, you do get 100 health per. So it's exactly like, you know, Ambergris on a um, Magnosaur. And then there's another creature that gets something like this as well, I think. I don't think Wyverns have any version of that. It'd be great if they did though. Uh, we do have a Magnosaur over here. I'm not sure if I can kill this thing on time. Uh, level 30. Uh, I could try. Let's see if we can do it. Come on, please don't heat up yet. Don't, don't do it, don't. Come on, dude, die already. Oh, he's heating up. Okay, yeah, that's that's gonna start hurting. Oh, we're on fire. <laughs> Great. No, ooh, <laughs> I, didn't, I did not expect him to do that. We're fine, everything's okay. <laughs> They're just slightly on fire. Just a little fire. Oh my God, I just realized I never even checked out that uh, Giga. Yeah, let's get away from these guys. I don't wanna be anywhere near them anymore. Uh, any runes though? Have I just grabbed them all? I think I might've. Whereabouts was that Giga? Were we really this far over here? Or have I already passed it? I don't think I did. Um, five more levels. Melee. There we go. Nice. And let's grab some of these goodies. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and just pump that up a little bit more. Perfect. Okay. Um, whereabouts is that Giga? It might... I think it might have been over here or something. Let's see. Uh, oh! So the vents do work. Maybe I just... That wasn't the correct one that I went on to. That's actually really handy. We can now just like hit up those vents and then make like a massive boost to get back to my actual island. I could totally do that. Yeah, I actually might do that. Let's see. Where's the Giga first though? He was around here, right? Oh, there he is. Nice. Hello, buddy. Ooh. That's a 180. That's a 180 Giga. That's a 108 Rex. Um, I think I know what I'm doing in the next episode. <laughs> That's awesome! Oh my god! Damn, um, that's actually got some really cool colors. Oh, that's awesome! Yes! I actually did come across a high-level Giga over here early on in the series, but I wasn't in any way uh, ready to tame it. I don't even think I included that bit of footage as well, because sometimes people get a little bit too mad when I don't go ahead and just tame something. Here we go! So yeah, I think I know what I'm doing in the next episode. Uh, guys, I'm trying to glide forward. There we go. Guys, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button if you enjoyed this one. Um, <laughs> yes, I am ending it. I am going to go tame that Giga before it gets itself into lava and dies somehow or something. So, um, yeah, if you have enjoyed this one, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. 
If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. And yeah, I'll be seeing you in the next one. And I totally messed up my glide by pulling out the spyglass. I didn't think that would do that. Oh, and also, I guess any name suggestions for this thing, yeah, drop them down below.